In today's video, I'll be telling you how to quit porn, but honestly, how to quit anything, really. Like you, you can use this to quit any affliction that you have, any addiction that you really have. So to give some backstory, I did the whole thing, you know, with first watching porn when I was 10 and then continually using it for eight years. And I'm not going to bore you with like the specifics of this, of my experience, because that's not important. But I tried a lot of things to quit, you know, I tried distracting myself. I tried being super busy all the time, you know, just not having the time to really think about it. But once I wasn't busy anymore, it just came back right up. It's like, oh, hello there. So that didn't work, right? I tried restricting access, you know, with like website, bl website blockers. It's like, if you tried that, you let you know. That doesn't help. Like, you know, <clears throat> the website blocker just sort of pops up like, oh, no way, Jose, you, this is blocked. And then you just go on to the options, like, and then you just click deactivate and then go back. It's like, it doesn't do anything. And I'm sure you search up YouTube videos, you know, you search up how to quit porn and it's never worked. You know, you tried looked up videos on you know five tips on how to quit porn quit porn today now but they've never worked right and they didn't work for me right but if this is your first video you're lucky man i'm just saying like if this is your first video on quitting porn like you're gonna do it first try i guarantee that right I think is no one tells this secret because I think one is not well known and two just because I have a little mischievous persona in my brain just telling me you know capitalism you know if people knew the real solution they wouldn't keep searching up videos on how to get a solution you know if a solution really worked we'd be out of business we don't want that so let's put out these fake solutions that, you know, they sound right. They sound like, you know, if you do follow it, you know, you'll quit. But they don't work, actually. And it's, I mean, so many videos on quitting porn, just, they don't work. They just don't work. All right, like, viewing porn as something that's sacrilegious, that's completely, that's extremely bad. It's like, that doesn't work. All right, you just flagellate yourself for watching it. For consuming, for liking it, you know, he's like, you watch it, and it's like, damn it, why did I do that? I know it's Satan. And it's just a religious perspective, but like, or or a more secularistic perspective is, damn it, I watch porn again. Porn is just bad because you know the workers and blah 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 blah, like everything. Just porn is just bad. That doesn't work. I've tried it. it doesn't work. All right, it just doesn't work. What does work? The one thing that has worked for me ever since is literally just not thinking about it. Just barring porn from your mind, henceforth. You know, just like every time your mind catches a glimpse of porn, you just boom, just get it out of there. Think about something else. Right? That is the secret. That is how I would quit porn. That is the best way to quit porn. Right? Because if you can't think about it, you don't know it. And if you don't know it, you can't use it. And if you think about like other addictions, right? So if you're not an alcoholic, how much do you think about not drinking? Or that drinking this is bad? And if you don't drink, it's like, okay, fair. But let's say, how much time do you think about cocaine? I'm assuming no time at all because you're not addicted, right? You're not addicted, so why care about cocaine? Besides, you know, occasionally seeing the graphs about, oh, cocaine addiction has rise this much. Oh, the fentanyl crisis this much. Oh, yada, yada, yada on the news. Right? But besides that, like, you don't think about cocaine because you're not addicted to cocaine. It's like these AAA groups, <clears throat> which are all about helping people quit their substance, right? A lot of it is just like, this is bad, you should stop doing it, so stop doing it. And it's like, 
that's just not the best solution. You know, most people in AA, when they quit, they relapse. They, they relapse. Viewing your substance of abuse or, or of addiction as good or bad, it's not going to help. The thing that will help is barring it from your mind, like not even good or evil. Like, don't even let it have a place in your mind. If it doesn't have a place in your mind, you can't use it because you can't even think about it. And that's what I did. You know, like instead of viewing porn as good or as something bad for me, it's just I'm indifferent to it because it's not in my life. I don't think about it anymore. You know, besides right now where I'm recording video specifically on it, but like, you know, normally day to day, I don't think about it. It's just not a part of my life or what I even think about. I choose to block it out. And that's what's helped me the most. And I think it'll help you the most as well. If your goal is to quit porn. It's like how you answer or respond to someone who wants your attention. Right? If they, if someone wants your attention, they do good stuff for you. You know, they want your praise or they just want your attention for doing bad stuff. You know, it's like they do anything and everything in their power to try to get your, your attention. And if you respond negatively, you know, you say, stop doing that. You're still giving them attention. You praise them, you're still giving them attention, right? The way to essentially win win against them or to stop them from vying attention for you, unless like they're your child, like, okay, don't, don't do that. But if it's like someone that you don't actually want to like pay attention to you, just ignore them, right? Ignore them. Now, there are specific cases that, you know, ignoring just won't actually help. Like for bullying, you know, for bullying, you just have to stand up for yourself. Right? You just have to. Like every single person who has tried ignoring the bully has only gotten bullied more. But back to the topic. Ignoring porn, that is the way you will be able to quit it, finally. And I'm certain there's going to be times when your mind is going to wander and then it's going to think about porn. You know, you're just going to be walking one day and it's like, remember porn? And then you're just going to be like, sort of, yeah. And that's the thing. That's, that's, that's the key part. The key, now the key part is to stop thinking about it, to shut it out, to just, you know, this is the thought about porn, just boom, just throw it away. And for me, like, as soon as one of those thoughts pop in, pops in, I'm just like, nope, get away from me. It's like, you're gone. I just start thinking about something else. And if you truly want to quit porn, view it as a substance of abuse. Like I said, like, you're, you don't think about cocaine because you're not addicted to cocaine. If you constantly think about porn, you're eventually going to give in. Your mind's going to find some reason to, oh, you know, just, just this once. You know, you've know, you gone so much for so much time without porn, you know. This is such an accomplishment. You should reward yourself by watching porn. But if you were to block out all these thoughts, to send them away, you would never be tempted. In my personal belief, this is the single best method to quit porn, to quit drugs of any kind, to quit any addiction that you have because, well, like I, as I've said like multiple times, if you can't think about it, you can't do it. Now, a big part of stopping it to coming into thought is having mindfulness and, you know, everyone throws around mindfulness like, you gotta be more mindful, you know, when you eat things, be more mindful, be more mindful of nature. How the fuck do you do that? Right? Like, oh, just like, just think or be mindful of like every spoonful of food that you eat. It's like, bitch, no, I can't do that. Like my attention span is just terrible. And like most people's attention spans are just plain trash because of TikTok, because of YouTube shorts, because of all this content that is always there that is short, sweet, spicy. It's like, all, there's all these things that are training our attention spans to be shorter and shorter and shorter. So how the hell do I be mindful when I can't even focus? 
for like three seconds on something, you know. And this is where meditation comes in. Meditation is simply the act of observing your thoughts. And a lot of people get meditation wrong thinking that, you know, I'm not meditating correctly when, you know, they get distracted. But that's actually a good thing because in the gym, you know, you put on weights, you do reps, and it's challenging, right? You know, every challenging rep you do, it's like, okay, it's going to further my gains. Every distracting thought you get is like a rep. That's how you should view distracting thoughts when you meditate. Right? So say when you're meditating, you have this central focus, and it's usually the breath because the breath is very simple and easy to follow, right? And then when you get a distracting thought, it's just like, okay, it's pretty nice. You know, let me just like get a little bit stronger. Arguably, that's what distracting thoughts are for. At least that's a beneficial way of looking at it. And so with enough practice for meditation, you will gain the ability to simply observe thoughts as they come in. You know, like you can observe when you're thinking about certain things and then you can sort of like judge, you know, like, do I, do I want to think about this or do I just want to move on to something else? You know, do I want to be entrapped by these feelings, these thoughts, or do I not? And with meditation, you gain the ability to observe, not only that, but to shove away certain thoughts, to disengage certain thoughts. And as I've said, the best way to stop using porn, stop watching porn, is to simply not think about it anymore. And when thoughts of porn come up, you just toss them away. Truly, the best way for you to quit porn is actually really just to meditate, to observe your thoughts, and then put it into action. Putting it into action is simply just ceasing all thoughts about porn. When you get a thought, blow it away. If you can't think about it, you can't do it.